Welcome to this segment of my educational series on prosthetics, orthotics, and amputee rehabilitation. My name is Dr. Heike Ustall. I'm a specialist in rehabilitation medicine, and I hope this is an educational and enjoyable video. Thank you. Hey, it's Dr. Ustall again. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about orthotics, different from some of our other segments that were prosthetics. Orthotics are braces that go on the body part that's still there. And perhaps there's weakness or abnormal movements that we would like to control. Sometimes this occurs from damage to nerves that are in your leg or in your arm. Sometimes it occurs from damage to your spine or to your brain. But we'll go through a quick review of what different type of orthotic devices are like. Today's segment will focus just on AFOs, ankle foot orthotics, basically controlling the foot and ankle position relative to your knee and to your hip. So the simplest type of AFO that we'll look at is called a custom plastic AFO. This is custom made for your leg. It goes all the way up to the calf. It closes with a Velcro strap. It keeps your ankle at this 90 degree position. It's molded to the foot, but it allows the toes to kind of move freely if necessary. This typically is for conditions where your tone is low, where there's no spasming of your muscles. If there is concern about having more stiffness to the brace, then we build more plastic around the ankle, and that's called the trim line. So the farther this comes forward, the stiffer this brace will get. It will be less flexible, it will give stronger control, perhaps even for a heavier set person. Their increased body weight may require a stiffer brace. But again, we still have it all the way up to the calf, Velcro strap, foot plate, usually close to that 90 degree or neutral position. Sometimes we have to worry a little bit about not just the foot dropping down, that we call foot drop, but also we have to worry about the foot turning inward or outward, that we call inversion or eversion. When a person has a stroke, their foot may typically push down, but also turn in, and then we have to stop that foot from dropping and inverting. So the foot plate of this brace will hold the foot up, it will catch the foot so it doesn't turn too much, but now what will happen is the ankle will want to roll outward, so we have this piece out here called a lateral flange. So there's three points of control, the medial foot plate, this flange, and all the way up here to the calf that stops the foot from turning in and the ankle from rolling out. So that's a special feature built onto a custom plastic AFO. Sometimes we want to have a true pivot point or hinge joint on a plastic AFO. This gives us the option of still providing some pickup of the toes, so to control foot drop, we can also build that same kind of flange in there if we have inversion problems, but it allows for a little bit more normal walking because the ankle can actually move. We can control how much the ankle moves somewhat by building up here in the back that looks a little bit like a fish mouth. And once that closes, it stops the foot from going down any further. We can have even more adjustability or control for how much the ankle moves if we go to a traditional old-fashioned metal AFO. Now there are some more distinct parts here. There's an aluminum band covered with leather in the back called the calf band. There's a Velcro strap in the front. There are aluminum bars that come down to an ankle joint. This is the pivot point. So it moves up and down. This steel piece is called the stirrup that goes down one side across the bottom and up the other side. So it's a U-shaped product that attaches the brace to the shoe itself. And we can open up this screw right here and put a spring in there and by compressing the spring we push down behind the pivot point that pushes the toe up like a seesaw. If you push down on one end the other end goes up. So we can control foot drop using a metal AFO. We can also have a dual channel or two channel joint that can lock the joint in any one position and we'll see that in just a minute. Now most people are looking for high tech, lightweight, super strong, so we have a lot of carbon fiber AFO choices now. Now carbon fiber is a much more difficult material to work with, unlike the plastic which most any brace company or orthotic lab can make in their shop. To make these super strong, super lightweight carbon AFOs, these are typically done in a factory. So there are half a dozen manufacturers that make different designs and different shapes of carbon fiber AFOs. The foot plate, as you can see, goes full length to control the foot. The strut can be mounted on the outside, lateral, or medial, or in the back, and it comes to a shell that could be in the front of the calf or in the back of the calf. As you can see, 
on these two carbon AFOs are slightly different, but they perform basically the same way. Your job is to hold the foot up, and sometimes it's even to allow a little bit of pushing or propulsion, because carbon fiber will bend a little bit, it'll store energy, and then it will push back. So for people that have foot drop and weakness of their calf muscles, the carbon fiber gives you kind of a, a double bonus. It controls the foot drop, and it restores the pushing, the propulsion that's missing from that calf muscle. There are a few other specialty designs when patients have more serious conditions of their foot, let's say with diabetes, sometimes they develop a condition called Charcot joint where their foot and ankle starts to collapse. Sometimes we have to actually lock the ankle joint in one position and hold it that way all the time when they're standing and walking. And we have to get some pressure off the foot and transfer the load somewhere else. So to offload and immobilize, so to move the pressure away and lock the ankle in place, sometimes we'll use a brace like this that's also custom molded. There's a hard shell inside, but it's covered with leather outside and inside and opens and closes with Velcro straps. And it locks the ankle in place and keeps it at that 90 degree neutral position. And the reason is to prevent further deformity. Because if you don't do this, your ankle gets worse and worse to the point where the foot and ankle collapses and maybe even dislocates, which is really dangerous and limb threatening. We have another version that's a little bit heavier, but performs the same function. And this is called a calf corset AFL. It is essentially like a corset for your calf that tightens up the laces or Velcro, transfers the weight down through these metal bars now to a two-channel two ankle joint that can lock this ankle in any position you want, again connected to that metal bar called the stirrup attached to the shoe. So now we can set this ankle position anywhere we want. We can immobilize or fix the ankle in any position and still bypass the foot and ankle by transferring it through these metal bars up to the calf. So there are a variety of AFOs out there. If you have any of these conditions ranging from very really simple foot drop to a more complex problem like Charcot joint, then realistically you have to talk to your doctor and talk to your orthotist about what AFO or brace design will work best for you. Thanks for listening.